Okay, there we go. So I've asked it to give me a summary of the financials and it is summarizing this for me from the document. So today I'm gonna to show you how you can make a chat with data bot that will take a PDF like this big annual report and give you the ability to query it using absolutely zero code and allowing you to set up this bot for production so you can start charging clients for it. And I'm gonna show you this in under five minutes. So let's get started. So the first thing you're gonna do is we're gonna use Flowwise. Flowwise is a graphical user interface of LangChain, which is the code for interacting with large language models. So basically you wanna to come to this GitHub repository, make sure you have a GitHub account. If not, just create one. And you wanna to come to this button up here, which says fork, you want to fork this. This will basically copy, clone the repo into your repository. And then you can go two ways about this. You can either Follow these instructions on downloading and installing Flowwise on your computer locally. So you clone the repo locally to your computer and then run npm install and npm Flowwise start and then you'll have it locally on your computer and you'll be able to start making flows. Or what I suggest doing is actually hosting it on a web service so you'll access it like a website. So the way we're gonna do this is we're gonna use render. So come to render, it's also free. You want to create an account, come here, hit new, hit web service, connect it to your GitHub and then just connect your repository that you've cloned in your GitHub. There's a full guide on the render docs on exactly how to do this. So I wanna show you super quickly exactly how this is going to work. So basically, it's just a basic retrieval augmented generation model. What we do is we have a query. So the user inputs a query through the chatbot. It goes through an embedding model, right? Which turns it into a bunch of floating point numbers. This embedding is passed into the embedding database. So the Chroma's example, we'll be using Pinecone for this tutorial. The vector database then looks at the similarity between your query and all the embeddings. And then it passes back the related documents into ChatGPT, which combines everything into your answer. So. First thing we're gonna do is we're going to do upsert documents. There's basically two steps to this. First, we've got to upload all the documents and then we can start querying them. So pinecone upsert. So we are going to need to attach these two elements. We need to attach a document and embeddings. So embeddings, we're gonna use OpenAI embeddings. So come here, connect those. You wanna enter your OpenAI API key. You can get that from the OpenAI API site. We're then going to want to upload the PDF. So we need to connect these. Let's upload the file. And we also need to pass this a text splitter, i.e. how are we gonna split this big file up into all small chunks so we can vectorize it and then store it in the database. So we're gonna use a token to pass that in. You don't really need to play around with these sizes. Basically the chunk size is how big your chunks, your size of text are. So if you've got a small document, set it lower about 500. If you've got a big document, set it about a thousand. I also like to do about a hundred chunk overlap. And then this is everything you need to upset your documents. So we actually need to go and get our Pinecone API keys. So come to Pinecone, create an account, and then we want to create an index. So name your index anything. Your dimension is really important. This is one, five, three, six. Otherwise it's not gonna work. Keep the cosine similarity on. Starter, which means it's free. And then hit create index. Now you're gonna need three things. So come to your API keys. Sometimes it breaks. So I, after you create the index, I just like to create a new key. Create this new key, copy this new key paste this key in here and then we need the environment and the index so the index is actually just going to be your name so it's going to be new for me so whatever you called your index and then the environment is going to be here so it's just gcp starter your environment might be different based on where your server is hosted now we need to pass this into a q a chain so we're going to use the conversational q a chain so this is going to take three things but we don't need to worry about memory because it implements memory in itself but you can if you want it to use a different type of memory so connect up to the vector store and then we need to, a language model so let's use open ai so chat open ai we'll use 3.5 go grab your api key and connect this up to the language model so that is everything you need to actually create a chat with data application. Basically what this is gonna do, it's gonna take your PDF, it's going to split it into a bunch of chunks. It's gonna take those chunks, 
Im use the OpenAI embedding function to turn them into basically long strings of floating point numbers. Upsert those to a pinecone documentation, and then this Q&A retrieval train will allow you to query that. So let's test this out. Okay, there we go. So I've asked it, give me a summary of the financials, and it is summarizing this for me from the document. Now, if we come to our pinecone console as well, you should see the amount of vectors. So we've actually got 445 vectors. Each vector is going to have 1,000 tokens. So that, that looks about right. Now, this is basically all you need to start creating a document. However, we need to take this up one step further if you want to actually deploy this for production. So the issue here is we don't want to just give a client this bot because what it's going to do, every instance of this bot, it's going to take this PDF and upsert it. So we'll end up just duplicating all this data in the vector database multiple times and you really don't want to duplicate data in a VDB. So once you've actually uploaded to your Pinecone instance, what you can do is we want to delete all of these and you can just create a new flow for this as well. And we're going to use this load existing index. So we've already got the index. So just put in your API keys again. We actually do need the OpenAI because it needs to know how those vectors are stored. So when it brings those vectors back out to turn those numbers into actual text again, and let's connect this up. So this is now all we need to chat with the data and we're not gonna be uploading. So it's gonna be so much faster. What was the net profit for the year? The net profit was 4 billion 700 million. So there we go. Now this is all you need to use. And now if you want to actually give this to a client, we can come up here to the code so you can embed it as a pop-up here. So just shove this into the, your website anywhere or as a full page. And you've also got the Python, JavaScript, curl if you want to use this as an API. And you can also share your chatbot here so people get a graphical interface. So you can come here, hit share. If you don't want this login, we can hit make public, hit share, and there we got our chatbot. So you can quickly share this with customers. Now, if you like this video and you want to actually learn more about how these vector databases work, I did a full breakdown video up here. Go check it out. It's super helpful to actually understand everything going on in behind the scenes. If you're a company that wants to work with me and implement something like this or something way more complex than this, I've got my email in the description, or if you want to just book an hour of my time, I've got a link for that.